Hi, this is Sally Morgan, physical therapist, craniosacral therapist, and Tellington T-Touch practitioner for animals and people. And this is Tristan, he's a corgi. And we're here for episode 89 or 90 of Conversations with a Corgi. And today we're gonna to be talking about the 4th of July because it is the 4th of July. Happy 4th, everyone. Tristan and I are in Provincetown and we'll be celebrating today um, America's birthday. But many pets, including Tristan, don't enjoy all the noise and the fireworks and the loud applause and the light flashes of the 4th of July celebrations. And he'll go to the parade with me today, but he's pretty nervous at the parade. So I wanted to give you some tips from my perspective of things you can do with your dog to help him or your kitty be calmer during the 4th of July celebrations. And of course, we've been discussing flower essences for several episodes now, and the very first one we talked about, Mellow Out, is a really good choice for fireworks and fear of thunder. So Mellow Out is to help calm the nervous or jittery animal that may be moody, irritable, or on edge all of the time. For overly anxious, anticipatory animals that tend to lose control easily, great to use prior to competition, thunderstorms, or fireworks displays. Don't leave home without it. So if you have Mellow Out Flower Essence, it would have been wise to be using it for the whole week leading up to this and for several days after the 4th of July. That's the most effective way to use a flower essence. They are subtle, they work on your animal's energy field, but even if you have not been giving it to your animal up until this point, if you listen to this episode of Conversations with a Corgi and put a few drops on a piece of apple or some porous food that your animal likes, broccoli, cauliflower, uh, carrots, sometimes the, the essence slips off, but you can try things like that, maybe even just a piece of um, delicious meat. So you can give your animal a few drops this morning and maybe at lunch and then another one later in the evening before the fireworks begin and you'll still get some of the benefits of the mellow out flower essence in regards to helping your dog stay calm for the 4th of July. One of the other things I recommend is not bringing your dog to the fireworks. Even a really calm and happy dog that doesn't seem to mind the noise, their hearing is so sensitive and it's really overstimulating and could be damaging to their ears to be in the commotion of the fireworks. And every year where I used to live, there would be stories of dogs who had nipped someone or gotten loose or, you know, in other ways exhibited behavior that was out of the norm for them. And that was because of the stress of some person bringing them to a fireworks display. And of course you want to include your dog in all of your activities in your life, but the fireworks might not be the best choice. And for Tristan, the fire engines in the parade today are going to be hard for him. And he may choose to stay here. I'll have to ask him what he wants to do. So when you bring your dog, <laughs> if you think that you should bring your dog to the fireworks, rethink that. And instead, think about leaving your dog at home in a place where he's really comfortable. For Tristan and a lot of dogs, when they're nervous and there's thunderstorms, they often go to the bathroom um, as a place to hide. And they um, like to curl up near the pipes behind the toilet. Well, think about this. Those pipes are grounded into the earth and they are one of the most safe places in your house to be free um, and, and safe from a um, lightning strike. So even though now a lot of the plumbing is not copper, animals instinctively seek out that kind of connection to the earth when they are nervous. So this does not mean to put your dog in the basement because to be in a dark, scary place, unless you have a beautifully finished basement with a pool table and a TV, this is a scary place to leave your dog. So you don't want to put him in a place where he doesn't usually want to be. A lot of people have their dog in the master bedroom to sleep at night. And if you're lucky enough to have an ensuite bathroom where your dog can go to feel comfortable near the plumbing, that's a great thing. Otherwise, if he sleeps in the living room in his bed or in the kitchen in his bed, and you can um, somehow restrain him to that area, um, sometimes if he's already sleeping there, he is restrained in that area, or you might not even need to do that. I don't recommend leaving your dog in a crate during a storm unless he's super comfortable in a crate because the stress of fireworks and loud noises can cause your dog to exhibit unusual behavior, which might include trying to break out of his crate to find a safer place. So unless your dog is super comfortable in a crate, like Tristan, he's okay in a crate, but I would not call him super comfortable. 
And so unless your dog really loves being in the crate, this is not the first place I would put him during fireworks displays. So I usually would lock Tristan in the bedroom and so he can go into the bathroom as well. Those are his favorite places to feel safe. He likes to go under the bed. And a good idea would be to have some calming music for your dog playing in that room to kind of dissipate some of the noise of the fireworks and the loud noises outside, people driving by, screaming, loud music, etc. So having your dog in a nice calm place at home is a great idea to help him be calm during all of the stressful events going on outside. So as I said, I would typically leave Tristan in my bedroom with the blinds closed and he likes to feel safe under the bed and I would play music for him that he enjoys, which for many pets, Bach is a great um, type of music to play for your animal. It makes them feel calm. As we talked about before, it connects the right and left sides of the brain, which also brings a sense of calm and a deeper state to your animal's um, brain waves, and that is also helpful for them during a storm. There are many, many um, CDs that you can buy now that have special dog music in them, and if your dog likes that, you can try that as well. I've seen that kind of music really calm down dogs in a real nervous, stressful situation. So if you haven't purchased any of these yet today, you can probably download some to your phone, and if you're not bringing your phone to take pictures of the fireworks, you can leave it at home with some nice, soothing music for your dog. Otherwise, just tuning your radio to a classical music station that is playing music is a good thing to help keep your dog calm during the storm. And short of that, you might have some calming CDs for meditation or yoga. Those kinds of things are really good for your dogs. I have to warn you, though, about the CDs called Hemisync. Um, those are made to um, in, in train your brain as you're listening to them to elicit a certain kind of brainwave pattern. And animals' brain waves are not the same as humans, and they could be um, irritated or get a bit of a headache from listening to that kind of music endlessly. So as much as it seems like a good idea, I would avoid using the hemi-sync um, as a way to help, and they're called hemi-sync because they synchronize the right and left sides of the brain. I would avoid that kind of music for your dog. There's a wonderful guy named Jerry Marchand. He has a ton of um, harp music. CDs out which are long and they are also very calming and he plays the music for his cats and if they don't like it he changes it to make it so that they like it so his music is also really wonderful and that's Jerry J-E-R-R-Y Marchand M-A-R-C-H-A-N-D and I believe you can buy his CDs online otherwise write to me and he's local I'll send you some so put your dog in a quiet room with some soft music playing and then another thing you should do before you leave him there, or if you happen to be sitting at home watching the fireworks on TV while they're going on outside, you can do some tea touches on your dog's ears. And the ears are a really important connection to the emotional center of the brain. And we're just doing these gentle circle and a quarter. Right now I'm doing clouded and lying leopard circles around Tristan's triple heater meridian at the base of his ear. And you only need to spend a minute or two doing this if you do it at all regularly to help your dog relax and calm down during the storm. And then some ear slides with a little attention to the shock point at the tip of the ear is a really good thing to do before you leave your dog. Now, if you're home and your dog is really stressed, using that shock point and just rubbing it gently can actually help calm him down if he's really shivering and nervous and scared of a storm or fireworks. And certainly when we go to the parade today, if Tristan comes along, I will be working that tip of his ear quite a bit to help keep him calm. And again, if you're with your dog, we can resort to one of the things that I talked about at quite a bit of length here on episodes of Conversations with a Corgi, which is a wrap. So in honor of the fourth, we're using a blue wrap. Also, Tristan likes them. And you just start on the chest with, this is a three inch wrap. If you have a bigger dog, you might want a four inch wrap. And you know, if you can't run out and buy one, almost everyone has some kind of an ace wrap laying around the house from when someone sprained their ankle. So you just start on the dog's chest to wrap it around, cross it on the top and go around under his belly, cross it there and bring it back to the top. And this wrap has Velcro because it's one of the beautiful wraps that my friend Jamie made. And so Tristan's got a little bit of a wrap on him and this will help, he'll help him feel calmer and safer during the storm. It's like having a hug all the time. 
and you also know about thunder shirts more than likely and thunder shirts were specifically designed for thunder and fireworks and loud noises to help keep your dog calm and they work on the same principle as the wraps they give your dog sort of a whole body hug to make him feel more safe and secure and especially with a thunder shirt and a wrap as the dog moves they continue to give him that hug which helps him feel a lot more secure and thunder shirts just an fyi once the thunder or the lightning or the fireworks start that's not the time to put the thunder shirt on you should put it on a little bit before you anticipate the loud noises to help your dog get the maximum calming benefits from the thunder shirt or the wrap and i wouldn't leave a wrap on my dog if i wasn't home with him because they are long and if the dog gets caught on something it could not be a great thing for him and you don't want to leave these on super long most fireworks displays are only a half an hour so if you're with your dog you can put the wrap on about 10 minutes before and take the wrap off about 10 minutes after when you're sure there won't be any more loud noises sometimes there's a few stray fireworks far away a little bit after your fireworks are officially over so i would keep the wrap on him and if your dog is comfortable and you don't need to leave him in a room quietly if you could need to <coughs> if you're going to be with him maybe watching the fireworks on tv while they're going on outside you can also hug your dog with your hands don't squeeze him into you because some dogs really don't like that even tristan look at the expression on his face this is not good for him but just kind of hugging him close to me see the difference he's smiling now he's happy this is comfortable <coughs> so pay attention to the way that you hug your dog you want to contain not restrain because that sense of not being able to get away is actually more frightening to them than the benefit they would get from the hug so just giving them a little closeness is what you want to do to help keep them calm during the thunder or the fireworks displays so these are just a few of the tips that i use you can also um, i use lavender essential oil because it's calming and most dogs really like it i don't put it on the dog but i put it on the carpet of the room where he may be staying you can put it in a diffuser but this is um, tends to get a little bit too strong over time for a dog I sometimes put a couple of drops near his bed, not in his bed, and just that scent, and I do it maybe an hour before the dog is gonna be in there alone, because you know they have a tremendously you know, better sense of smell than we do. And it just takes a little bit of something like an essential oil to raise the vibrational frequency of that room and make it feel safer to the dog and to raise his vibrational frequency out of fear to a place of comfort. So today, if I do take Tristan to the parade with me, I might put a drop of lavender oil on my foot or my ankle um, <coughs> an hour before I go because he's going to probably be near my feet and um, it will help bring him a little relaxation when he's a little nervous about watching the parade. And he's been to the parade several times and he does have a good time. So these are just a few things you can do to help your dog be a little more comfortable on the 4th of July. And of course, there are many other um, things you can do. There are acupuncture points you can work with, um, but I really recommend this point on the tip of the ear with tea touches or just gentle stroking because that really does bring a sense of calm and it's something easy that you can do. Um, one of the things people always ask about is using rescue remedy for um, thunder and lightning and fireworks and honestly that's not what rescue remedy was made for um, if you leave the house and your dog is usually fine and you come home and he has you know torn the toilet paper off of the wall run around the kitchen knocked over some furniture because for some reason today he's more nervous than usual that's when you would use the rescue remedy um, and rescue remedy can be somewhat effective if you give them a little bit hours before the noise begins just to help keep them calm but that's not its purpose really and we'll talk more about rescue remedy several episodes down the line when we're talking more about flower essences but i would prefer the mellow out flower essence given to your dog on a little treat where you can just put a drop or two on it and maybe give it to him two or three times during the day today before the fireworks begin later in the evening <coughs> so just be aware of what the world is like from your dog's perspective on the 4th of july as much as we enjoy fireworks and listening to the people ooh and ah when we see them it can be really frightening to your dog and just the sound of the fire trucks and the police cars and parades can also be really frightening to your dog so do your best to keep him in a calm and safe feeling environment in a familiar place um, like I said, don't lock him in the basement. <laughs> Let him stay where he usually likes to sleep in the evening. Many dogs are comfortable under a bed if they can get there. 
um, and bigger dogs, you know, like to lay on the sofa because they've got two sides around them. So if your dog likes to do that, you can throw a sheet on the sofa to repel the hair um, and let your dog be comfortable there because you want to try to work with them today and give them everything that they would typically um, desire to try to be calm and happy during a storm. So this is Sally Morgan, physical therapist, craniosacral therapist, and Tellington T-Touch practitioner for animals and people with some tips for how to help your dog stay calm for the 4th of July. Get out that Bach or classical music, try a T-Touch wrap for your dog, do some T-Touches around the base of his ears, and rub that shock point on the end of his ear if he seems to be really distressed. Try mellow out flower essence and use a couple of drops of lavender on the floor of the room where he will be sitting to help bring a sense of calm and a time of much excitement for your pets. We will be back with another episode of Conversations with a Corgi sometime this week. I cannot predict when. Um, probably not tomorrow because we have a boating expedition planned, but maybe early in the morning I will be able to go to my friend's garden because I really want you to see the beautiful flowers there um, and uh, talk about the next flower essence in our series. So have a great 4th of July everyone and help your dog stay safe and happy too. Happy 4th of July. We'll see you soon. <laughs>